सो हेलो गाइस एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे नंबर ट्वेंटी बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई वॉन्ट टू टेक ए स्पेशल टाइम टू थैंक्स गेट एस्पेरेंट बिकॉज ही और शी आई डोंट नो बट या दैट पर्सन इज आवर फर्स्ट मेम्बर ऑफ दिस चैनल राइट एक्चुअली येस्टरडे वॉज गणेश चतुर्थी सो वी लॉन्च आवर चैनल मेम्बरशिप मोर डिटेल आर इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फर्स्ट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो प्लीज चेक इट आउट ओके सो टूडे वी वन डू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग रियली इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग बट बिफोर दैट आई विल स्टार्ट विथ द क्वेश्चन हुई इज पेंडिंग फ्रॉम डे नंबर सेवेंटीन वी नीड टू हैव ए आंसर वाट इज द आंसर सो लेट एस डू दैट फर्स्ट एंड फॉर टूडे आई हैव अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो आई आई गेट दैट एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो बट फर्स्टली दैट सॉल्व दिस डे नंबर सेवेंटीन सो वाट इज द आउटपुट and this is a very basic question and very nice question to see do you understand blocking and non blocking statement application so might be in your interview if the interviewer want to examine you know that concept blocking and non blocking then they might give you such kind of problem so here uh, we need to give what's the output of this so at the output you will get this every time and these are the formatting output formatting not so important just you refer any textbook or any uh, article on very log printing you will get so i am not going there okay but main thing is that we need to print time a and v value of <coughs> those so first of all at time 0 or instantaneously anytime you just executed your module this two thing gonna be oh here something is wrong actually i am sorry this would be b okay so this a or and b will get their value as 0 0 that would be at time 0 Zero plus, I can say, just at the zero. After that, see, this is the initial block, so this is a procedural block. And in procedural block, how things run? Things run on one by one. There are exception, and that's why we have blocking and non-blocking statement. But if it is a blocking statement, then things will go from top to down. so first this line this line see here assignment is a blocking assignment so our execution will stop here at 10th uh, unit of time so here for example we have time okay this column so at 10th unit of time what we will have we will have a equal to 1 and v equal to 0 after that we will have another blocking statement so it will come here and again our execution will stop and at that time after another 10 unit of time so at 20 we will have a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 right and then the important thing because then we have our non blocking assignment see this is your non blocking assignment symbol so here what we are saying after next 5 uh, units of time so it is 25 now tell me guys when we come to this line at 25 unit of time will it block to run this line for sure no because that's why they are non blocking so that means at 25 unit of time both the block will run together and therefore at 25 our a and b will be zero again because we are instantiating zero here right i hope i haven't done any mistake mm, yeah but if i am and you have some your logic that hey i am wrong then please write down in the comments section is always because i am also learning i am not a master or expert or very log right or if you think this is the correct but you are not understanding how it is correct then please refer to my day number 13 video there we have discussed in detail about blocking and non blocking assignment you need to write the answer again in your own like you need to Uh, make yourself convinced that hey this is the answer because uh, in interview there is situation is very nervous very tense that time you need to get the answer so that's why you need to do probably around 10 to 15 question like this blocking and non blocking for sure please do it it will be very beneficial for you okay so now is the time for not the next question next question i'll i'll reveal in the end of this video now we'll do this one actually this three we have done this third one was your homework so i hope you have done already so we'll go to fourth one and before i start please like this video if i don't say you are not liking it that's why i need to say please like and then only you you have your attendance right otherwise 75% attendance is there <laughs> okay 
okay let's start <clears throat> so here we will get to know something more about our very log and that is about for loop how we write for loop and for for loop actually i have spent a little bit of time because i want to show you the synthesized version of for loop also can we do for loop synthesize like for loop is synthesizable or not for that that is not so important for a beginner very log coder but for your curiosity for my curiosity i wanted to know if for loop can be synthesized or not and i never tried that one so that's why i have spent some time i'll show you today only and i hope you have you know the difference between simulation and the synthesis if not then probably in day number 18 we have discussed so please refer to that video so i'll do the synthesis synthesize also syn synthesis also of for loop and we can't do synthesis of uh, very low code in hdl in this environment so for that we have one tool and it is called EDA playground right so we'll do that also uh, last class we have started with this one right binary operator so there also we got some if else condition and i feel curious to show you how hardware will uh, be synthesized with that code so i will synthesize that also in in some time but before that let's solve this one so this is a for loop you need to build a for loop and you if you have done your for loop in some other languages c c++ then it did then it will be very easy for you because here we can follow exactly same syntax as c++ i guess for the for loop so what we do here yeah here what we are doing we need to do the bit reversal and that is again many applications are there in digital electronics so we need to sometimes need to I do this one so that's why we are doing here the things we are doing it's nothing like we are doing for academic purpose everything has some practical uh, achievement practical applications right so don't feel boring that hey why we are doing this bit reversal have many applications okay so let's do it so i will use for loop and for loop i need to write inside the always block because for loop is a procedural statement so i will write this one and for loop will make a conventional circuit i'll show you in synthesis so that's why i'm using a combinational always block we have uh, the clock always block also but i'm not using it so after that i will start begin because i'll have more than one line so begin and end i have written and then now what i'll write i will directly go for for loop so it's something like this int i yeah int is integer type of variable and integer type of variable like yeah it's coming from like we have two uh, distinct thing right one is net type one is variable type so inside variable type you have reg integer is also come inside the variable type so okay int i and then semicolon and then i'll do a mistake here if you have done your for loop many times you need to catch it up what mistake i am doing so i have written up to 99 and then i plus plus so here what we need to do actually let me write it down quickly here see we need to do bit reversal so your out 99 need to get in zero your out 98 need to get your in 1 and dot 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 will come up to out 0 need to get your in 99 so that means we need to transfer through the indexes of in and out so that's why i need to use a for loop here right i hope you got the uh, why we are using it so i have the index now i will go i will start from 0 yeah i need to uh, tell here i int i equal to 0 i equal to 0 yeah. so now here what the logic i'll use i'll use this logic out you just tell me is this logic perfect or not you just deduce yourself for the first case your i equal to 0 right so for the first iteration my i equal to 0 so i'll get out 99 equal to in 0 and the things what do we want next time your i would be 1 so 99 minus 1 98 and here in 1 and at the last your i would be 99 will it be 99 okay for now let's assume it is 99 so 99 minus 99 will get out 0 and will get in 99 dot 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 in between i am skipping so that is our algorithm and with the code also we are doing the same thing so that means we need to have a success result but as i am saying we won't be getting it and if you are doing if you have done many for loop for sure you have got the error but for new we let keep this as a sur surprise okay so see we got some mismatch you can read log file everything you can do and you can find out what's the issue but 
here it would be a little tough to find issue from the log file because you are doing something in the for loop only and see here what is happening you are saying i will start from zero till the i is less than 99 that means i can never be 99 i will stop at 98 so what about 99 index we are missing it out right so that's the error so that's why you need to put a equal to less than or you can directly write less than 100 right and then if you submit it will work we'll get a success message and see we got a success message okay so now let's do one thing uh, because we are doing we are not doing c++ coding we are doing very low coding so we want to know how the hardware will look like with this code anytime we want to get a netlist get the schematic how those things will look like so for that i will copy it I'll go to EDA Playground. Yeah. So in EDA Playground, here in the design side, I'll paste it. And here from tools, I will choose synthesis and EOSIS and show me the diagram and run. So you are getting this error and that is showing dot SBG file is not found. Actually, what is happening here? Uh, it is unable to synthesize it, right? And but but we know for loop can be synthesized in in text it is written so then i started searching why it is not happening here and the reason actually i got from this guy i need to thank him uh, in in quora actually i got the result so likewise you can also keep on searching in google quora to have your answer like i did so let me find out why so i want to thank palash actually palash or palash yeah okay no issue yeah uh, he he re write really nice answer related to Verilog in Quora. You can follow him. Yeah. So here is the uh, correct answer. So here he have what he did. He actually went to the uh, IEEE documentation. Okay. So here is the link. I will give this this link to my description. You can check it out. It is the like by Gita. Gita for your Verilog. So here in this sec section so let me go to this section control f they have written that to generate your loop or synthesize your loop you need to use this um, technique but here in our code what we are using we are just using a always block actually in hint in hdl bits also in hint they also given us a hint that hey you can use a generate block or you can use a always block but always block is easy as we already know so i used a always block but to able to synthesize it but as a beginner we don't want to synthesize it right so as a beginner that's a perfect code but if you are curious enough then you can write this code using that syntax i am not gonna do it but what i gonna do it i gonna go there and i'll copy one of the example from there so i'll go there down and you can copy this one this example example number two so here they are doing gray code to binary code conversion using a for loop only see for loop they are using but they are using this technique why, why we are using always block so that's the difference so if i get this and if i go into my playground and i try to sim uh, synthesize synthes synthesize it then you see the magic it will synthesize and run and see it synthesized uh yeah I want to go around this thing, what is happening in the hardware, but again, for today, it's not our discussion because we are not doing this problem, but you can always explore by yourself. But the answer is that we can synthesize for loop given we follow this methodology, right? Now what we will do, we will go to this problem, which we did yesterday. And there we, we have generated this, uh, let me load my code. Yeah, this one, if else. So we want to see how things working, minimum, finding a minimum. So we'll go to our EDA playground and we will try to simulate our synthesis. It not simulate. Synthesis is the perfect answer. Yeah, run. And see, this is your block. So here what we are doing, we had three input and we need to find the minimum block. So these two input, these two input are going to your comparator. And you can build a comparator using digital logic. Just you need to know how KMAP reduction need to be done. First step would be write the truth table. Next step would be KMAP reduction. You'll get a final expression. And from the final expression, Boolean expression, you can easily write down uh, like what's the expression. And to feed your curiosity, here is the link. I will again give this link to my description. It's from Geek for, for Geeks. 
and here they have a nice example how you can build a comparator two bit comparator here we are doing a two bit comparator only okay see first step is you need to write a truth table then you need to do the kmap reduction in the below they have done and then the final boolean expression and from there this is a circuit so we can do it and so you are doing comparator you are giving a signal and then a 2x to 1 mask depending on the signal which is bigger which is not yeah my camera battery went off so there is no no picture of me but it's okay okay so depending on which is the lower lower uh, multiplexer will select and it will give it to t2 t1 and t2 t1 will do the same thing they will compare each other uh, and depending on the multiplexer will select the minimum so now uh, there are interesting things are they are in line you can try out this one but today i'm not trying it out but you can try it out always you can try any any equations here but yeah please try out this one but we have a question for today uh, and that is, that is very special very very important one why it is very important because here this is zero actually uh oh yeah so it is special because here we have yeah semicolon is also there don't tell this yeah zero just mind these things okay okay so here you will have many 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 uh interesting concept from there you can show your interviewer your yourself only that you can apply those concepts here here are multiple concepts we are using uh for example weight you we never seen weight till there but anything you can google and you can know what weight is doing there okay so yeah that's your that's your task mainly please solve it give me the answer predict the output what will be the output so output will come from this monitor so give me the output and in our next 21 lecture we will discuss about those things those concepts and how we are applying those one okay okay so you welcome to explore the description where uh, all the benefits of memberships are written there and you can't see me but probably i can see you <laughs> so till then keep smiling and tata bye bye